Gadkari backers within the RSS are crying foul over the last moment nixing of his bid for BJP president's post. Sangha ideologue MG Vaidya has made some scathing allegations saying some conspirators within the BJP are responsible for Gadkari's exit. Where they are named the anti gadkari brigade within the BJP. Now, this includes Ram Jait Malani, Mahesh Jait Malani, Yashwant and Shatrugansin as well. He went on to the extent of saying that this group colluded with the government to nix gadkari. Let's get in more from MG Vaidya himself. So, serious allegations that you've put forth. What exactly are you trying to allege? What exactly do you think went wrong that Nitin Gadkari wasn't re-elected? Mr. Vedic, can you hear me? I don't know the internal matters of the BJP. I am not in conversation with those matters. Only a suspicion can be come, can come in people's mind because the, the income tax rate came just a day before is hiding the nomination. That is only why I had this on my envelope. So why do you think this was actually happening? Why do you think Nitin Gadkari was targeted and he was targeted unfairly then, according to you? Why was he targeted? It is for the people who targeted uh, him. They have to explain this. They did not want the second term for Gadkari. That is obvious. So when you say that they should come out and explain this, obviously you are reading a little too much into the situation. Why do you think this actually happened? What's the basis of your allegations, sir? I don't know which allegations you are referring to. Sir, what you've come out and said that this IT raid, it was something that was happening at the I behest of party IT workers. Raid came just you... a day before the filing of his nomination. And he did not file that nomination. Why did he not file it is for him to explain. But sir, this is something that was happening within the BJP. They've taken this entire decision. Sir, I, I, I don't know what was happening within the BJP. I am, I am not a worker in the BJP. I am not exactly. not aware. Exactly. So this is something that's internal within the BJP. With the RSS coming out and making these allegations, how are you proposing to take this forward? There are obviously going to be some reaction RSS coming in from the BJP I am, on I am, this. I am, at present, I am not the spokesman of the RSS. I was. That that, was that's correct, sir. sir. But when you come out and make statements like this, you're obviously speaking out against certain factions of the BJP, aren't you? Oh, His action in the BJP was against uh, giving him a second term. That, is, that was obvious. That I had there for it too. So wh wh why do you think this problem arose in the first place? Yes, I, I don't know that. How should I know? So when you, wh why would you come out and make these allegations then? I said that had there been election, Gadkari would have won hands down. But that, that would have proved that there is a division uh, in the party. And Gadkari did not want this image of the party that it is a party with the differences. That it is a party with the differences. Exactly my point, sir, which is what I'm trying to understand from you. So why do you think this opposition no, to Nitin why, Gadkari why, why from the leaders that you've named? Your, uh, Impose your point of view on my on my mind. What I have to say, I have said it, and I have nothing to add to that. You have nothing to add to that. All right, fair enough, Mr. M. G. Vaidya. Many thanks for having spoken to us here. Lots that I tried to ask M. G. Vaidya coming out and saying a lot of I don't knows to what I tried to ask him. Let's get in Arthur Srivastav with more details on this associate at on the phone line with us. Atish, we've just gotten a word in from M. G. Vaidya. I tried putting direct questions to him. But all I got was indirect answers now coming out and saying that I don't know this, I don't know that, this is something that I said. In, in more senses than one, it speaks volumes about the kind of factionalism that's also existing within the BJP, these statements coming out from the RSS. Well, exactly. This speaks volume about what's happening within the party. There was a clear division within party as far as the future of Nitin Gadkari was concerned. And MG where there is an ideologue of RSS, so he feels it, that means there is a strong feeling within RSS as well. That this IT raid, which was done a day before president election, it was deliberately done and it was a handiwork of an insider. And that is what RSS has been saying that Nitin Gadgari, yes, there may be certain allegations, but most of the allegations are being leveled by insiders and it is an act of an insider. That is what RSS has been saying since last three, four months since the entire scam alert. So this is something which is a bad reflection of state of affairs within the party that mm. leaders collided with, pleaded with government 
and got this IT raid done, deliberately wanted to stop Nitin Gadkari becoming the second time president.